offered to take us out on a cane paddock to see some of his Kenworths in action, unloading the biodunder, which is used as fertiliser on the cane paddocks. I'm Stephen Griggs, of, uh, I own Griggs Hawley Contractors in North Queensland. We run tankers, run flat tops, tippers, truck borax of dogs. Well, we get a contract with Sutrogen, we cart uh, molasses out of the out of the, the Burdick and Sugar Mills, we take it down to Serena, down to the Millet Plain Creek, and we uh, drop the molasses there, then we go on to Anui and backload with Biodunda. It's a, uh, a byproduct of ethanol. And sure enough, right on time, Stephen's driver Mick arrived in the T408. There's a hive of activity at harvest time too, with cane trains going and coming in all directions. Not far down the dirt lane, Mick swings around to the right and guides the T408 in next to a waiting tanker, where he'll unload most of his load. The remainder he'll load into their purpose-built spreader machine. And there was even time to check a quick phone message from a mate before climbing out of the cabin. It doesn't take long to get the hose out and transfer the product across to the spreader's tank. And before too long, it's time to move the spreader up to the lead trailer to top up its load. While the product is being pumped across, the drivers escape the tropical sun by standing in the shade of the tankers. The product flows freely, and it doesn't take too long to fill the spreader. Then it heads to the paddock and unfolds its boom spray bars before heading down the drills, which is what the cane farmers call their rows. Griggs' unique spreader runs wide profile flotation tyres which means that it has a very soft footprint on the paddocks as it's spreading the fertiliser. That spare road tanker that they pump part of the B-double's load into is used to store the product. That way there's enough material for the spreader to continue working while the trucks are away collecting another load. While the spreader sprays the fertiliser onto the paddock, Mick heads off to get another load. And by the time it's finished spraying its tank onto the field, another of Griggs Kenworths have arrived with a fresh B-double load. We asked Stephen how he finds his Kenworth trucks and about the service he gets from his local dealer, Brown and Hurley, Townsville. I find Brown and Hurley very good. Uh, very good backup, they have a lot of parts, we never have any problems with our parts. Well, now they've really got Cummins parts too, haven't they? They've got more Cummins than I think anyone else has, don't they? And what got me to buy Kenworth was first was years ago we bought a second hand one, a 401. Anyway, and then my sons got me to pick it up at Brown and Hurley when they had the old uh, sheds in Townsville. And then when I bore it home and Damien said to me, how good was that? I said, unreal, oh, isn't it? Can you tell us about that unique toolbox on the SAR? What happened was we are going to get it with uh, round tanks on it. And we just wanted to, because the square tanks look, look nice, you know. Anyway, and I like it. I like the SAR with the, the old original grill in it. You know, like the Kenworth look, you know. 
anyway, so anyway, uh, Damien and uh, David Boyd got the idea, why not turn one of them into a toolbox and keep the square tank instead of like with the square tank turned into a toolbox and that's how, you know, it come out and, and everyone says it's effective, you know, it is, yeah, yeah. Sucrogen Bioethanol is the only company in Australia to operate the biostill process. Specifically installed in 1989 to produce a highly concentrated dunder stream biodunder. Biodunder, which contains approximately 30 to 40 percent solids, is the end product of molasses fermentation and is comprised of vegetable matter, mainly yeast biomass, containing potassium, sodium, nitrogen, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus and sulphur. In particular, Biodunder has been valued as a liquid fertiliser that contains a viable source of readily available potassium for crop growth. Trials have also shown crops respond to Biodunder, due in part to a Dunder factor which may be the organic compounds in a product. By using liquid fertilisers, growers are reducing Australia's dependence on imported potash. The Serena Ethanol Distillery is capable of producing up to 300 million litres of biodunder annually. And as Griggs T408 SAR heads off to get another load, we're heading off to meet Rod Hanafy and his special truck ride industry vehicle that's hauled by the latest Kenworth K200 2.9 metre big cab.